Now, just as we are getting used to stage one outages till 4 p.m., ESCOM levels it up to stage two. It blamed this on the failure of three generation units. Meanwhile, government is forging ahead with its energy action plan. A commitment from China will help in this mission. It's sending equipment to keep the lights on at around 500 public facilities. Our senior reporter, Avi Mdil, is joining us now. Been following this story. Interesting developments, Avi, good afternoon. Cooperation agreement just days after the BRIC summit between China and South Africa. Everybody welcoming it. And part of this agreement has got two sections, we understand. There's that donation that you interviewed the Minister of Electricity, Hussein Soramokopa, last week about, about 170 odd million rand, which is going to help us immediately. That's a gift. But there's this half a billion rand grant that's sitting there. What's the story here? What, what are you finding out? So there is that 167 million rand donation uh, that has been explained, that this is wholly a donation. China's not interfering. It's basically money for equipment. In fact, equipment will be provided by the Chinese uh, to help at least 500 units that will comprise of clinics, your hospitals, your police stations, or public schools uh, to have electricity. We're told these will be PV systems and generators just to assist with the power woes when the lights go off because of float shedding. Uh, that will keep these public entities running. And that's been explained. That's a donation. But there's also the 500 rand grant. We do understand... 500 million. I beg your pardon, 500 million, yes, half a billion rand mm -hmm. uh, grant. We do understand that, of course, uh, is for technical assistance, but it's not actually been explained what the terms and conditions are will, will be of this. In fact, it's something that some of the legal experts and some of the businesses actually want, the transparency of how will this work and uh, who will benefit. In fact, it's some of what I've questioned when it comes to Lungila Mashele, a seasoned energy expert, who try to explain the concerns mm -hmm. just around the half a billion rand grant. Let's take a listen to that. The donation will look at um, technical equipment that um, we're told will reduce load shedding in South Africa. This will look at most likely solar PV systems, inverters, batteries. These are small scale that will most likely be installed in police stations, in clinics, um, in schools, for instance. And then you've got um, a 500 million rand grant, which will then be used for uh, technical technical assistance, especially looking at um, the transmission net network, but also looking at generation. Um, this, we're not entirely sure where this money will be allocated to, but from what the Minister, the minister of Electricity has alluded to is that it will go towards perhaps technical assistance for these two programs, generation and transmission, and maybe even some distribution as well explanation there about this donation uh, that we're trying to understand but who's going to benefit from this agreement i mean an hour ago i interviewed busa business unity south africa happy kambula he heads up their energy desk there business is still waiting as well to find out as you were saying earlier the nitty-gritty but they are hoping that uh, the whole value chain the supply chain the procurement chain the south african procurement chain will benefit and you mentioned business, Busa. I spoke to the National Black Business Caucus also a bit earlier on, who are also in the dark on the terms and conditions of it and whether it will benefit South African business. But what is clear at this stage is that uh, the government itself, South African government, is working with these eight uh, Chinese energy entities. That alone would be some sort of indication of who it's going to benefit. In fact, when I further probed this with the energy expert, Lungile Mashele, she seems to suggest that these donations or these grants often come with those terms and conditions that suggest that uh, while we give you this grant, uh, you ought to work with our companies back home, even before procurement and even after, often enough. Uh, so the money would seem that while it seems to come to South Africa, half a billion rand, it will go right back to China. In fact, some of, of what I went with, with Lungi Lema, shall I take a listen once more? We do not know what the conditions are. We do not know, um, and, and, and it is getting to a point where it is worrisome. There are a lot of agreements that have been signed, whether it's with the Dutch government, whether it is with the... Um, 
the US, lots of energy energy sector agreements have been signed over the last couple of years. I mean, let me take you take you back to last year during COP, where uh, the the just energy transition um, part, partnership was you know actually signed for the eight point five billion dollars. We still do not know what requirements that came with. Um, and we're simply adding one thing on top of the other. And but what we are aware of is that in other countries, for you know, instance, um, UAE has been signing some of these agreements, and they're basically taking land as part of the agreements. We don't know what our government has signed us up for. We don't know what concessions we have had to make. Um, and it's getting to a point where, at some point, this is going to have to be either exposed or laid bare for everybody to see, so that we. We don't find ourselves in a situation where we've either given up land, where, the, where we've given up sovereignty, where we've, um, you know, gotten our, ourselves into a debt uh, spiral that we're not able to get out of. Well, very important points there. I guess we need more transparency about this China grant to us to help us resolve the energy crisis among other issues. It's very important that uh, government really plays uh, open cards about it. You don't want to end up with a situation where, for example, these companies will only employ Chinese nationals and not even consider South African labor as part of this deal. It will be a sad day indeed, especially because our unemployment rate is very high. That's just one aspect of it. The rest you heard from the expert herself there explaining some of the concerns. So more transparency, government, please tell us what have you signed up for with China for this half a billion rand?